With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone. So the question is uniform rod AB is hinged at the and A in horizontal position as shown in the figure, the hinge is frictionless, that is it does not exert any friction force on the rod. Okay. The other end of the rod is connected to a block through a massless string as shown. The pulley is smooth and massless, there, there means there is no friction between pulley and this block or the string. Masses of the block and the rod are same and are equal to M. So as you can see in the figure. There is a rod having mass M and length L which is connected to a hinge at point A and there is a block at point B it is connected with the pulley with a string and at the other end it is connected with a block having the same mass as rod that is M. Oh, okay. So we have to calculate then just after release of block from this position they release the block that means the acceleration of this block is in downward direction. Okay. That means acceleration of this block is in downward direction. Suppose acceleration is A. Okay. The tension in the thread is we have to calculate the value of tension in this thread. Okay. So now we assume that this block is moving downward, vertically downward with acceleration A. That means this rod is moving in this direction with the angular acceleration alpha this is the a is the acceleration L alpha is the angular acceleration Blos, block is moving downward with the acceleration a and this rod is moving with the angular acceleration alpha in anti clockwise direction this we have assumed now the weight of this rod is acting downward from the center of mass and center of mass is this rod is l by 2 distance at l by 2 distance and the remaining is also l by 2 Okay, because the total length is L and the weight is acting downwards, mg. Okay, now similarly in this block, when this block is moving downward with the acceleration A, the weight of this block is acting downward, mg. And because of this weight, there is a tension in this string which is acting upward, vertically upward that is T and also T. Okay. So this is a question. Now for ideal spring, we know if the spring is ideal in that condition, the acceleration is equals to alpha L where alpha is angular acceleration and L is the length of rod. If spring is ideal, ideal spring for ideal spring A equals to alpha L. Okay. Now I'm going to write equation for block A. Okay, in block A, the equation from uh, Newton's law, I can write mg minus t because acceleration in downward direction. So, mg minus t that is equals to ma. Okay, from Newton's law, I can write mg net forces that is mg minus t that is equals to ma. This is for block. And I can also write this equation as a equals to g minus t upon m suppose this is my equation one okay now for the rod i will write the equation of torque torque is basically given by torque is basically equals to force into perpendicular length this is the torque and i am going to write the equation of torque for the rod now as you can see on the rod there is a tension because of this string and so that that means i can write t which is force into perpendicular length that is L minus the second force that is acting on this rod is weight that is mg and the perpendicular length is L by 2 that is equals to if the rod as you can see the rod is suspended about the end and if the, that is uh, suspended about the end I know that torque is given by torque was to I alpha now i write the torque this is the whole value of torque that is equals to i alpha the value of i is m l square by 3 because rod is suspended about the end at that time the i that is moment of inertia of rod is equals to m l square upon 3 into alpha okay so uh, now i can also write this equation as alpha l that is equals to 3 t by m minus 3g by 2 suppose this is my equation second okay because this length is 
from this length this mass is from this mass okay so now as you can see that equation 1 is about acceleration a equals to this and equation 2 is all about alpha l and in starting starting we already discussed that a equals to alpha l for for ideal spring that means equation 1 is equals to equation 2 so i can write g minus t upon m this is the equation of a a equals to alpha l so value of a is g minus t upon m equals to value of alpha l that is 3 t upon m minus 3 g upon 2 now uh, simplify this equation g plus 3 g by 2 same term at one side equals to 3 t upon m plus t upon m simplifying this g plus 3 g by 2 is 5 g by 2 and that is equals to 4 t upon m so from here the value of t is coming out to be t equals to 5 mg upon 8 this is the tension in spring which is equals to t equals to 5 mg by 8 okay so let's check the options the second option which is 5 mg by 8 is the correct option this is the Correct option. Okay. Thank you. For class 6 to 12, ITJ and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.